All right, so we are here with a palette declutter. Um, yeah, we're gonna start with what I have on my desk. Go through the three drawers I have here, and then I have two drawers on the outside of my desk. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, let's get some of the bigger ones going. So I have the Wet n Wild 40 pan palette. I'm going to actually, I'm going to let this one go. I already know who I would like to give this to. So, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, she'll like, ah, oh, yes, I would love it. Then we have these Morph 39A palette keeping. I love the grungier aspect of it. We have more. What is this one? 39S. Um, also keeping. I quite like this one. I wore a lot of purple, so my friend told me the other day. It's just not wrong. We have the Glam Light Pizza Palette. Keeping this one as well. You see beauty on the grungier side as well. Looks like it's coming out the pan. I said, what? There's going to be a lot of reaching. Okay. We have the KVD. Fetish palette, also keeping. I quite like this. Whenever I want to do a lot of vampy looks, I come to this palette all the time. We have a newer to me, older to you, KVD Sink and Center palette. I really gotta quit drinking pop before I come and start filming. So I'm just belching like the entire time. But we are keeping this fun little doodad. She's just so pretty to get rid of. Kite. Okay. Okay, that works. That works. I have the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit, the Once palette. We are gonna keep this beautiful thing. This little doll, just a wee bit. Did it have half half reviews? Yeah, but this is beautiful on the face though. Well, on the eyes. I loved it. So I'm keeping. A newfound love. This is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette. Uh, this is a keeper for sure. Uh, I am in love with this. Used it twice so far. So what's that? I've got my eyes. We have the. Okay then. We have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. I will be keeping this. Uh, this was a gift from my husband. And I do like it. Where everything's falling. Like help, I can't get up. But the palette version. So we have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Also keeping this is good quality. Apparently I have a lot of my a lot of my bigger palettes are on top. I know you probably don't like this this style, but it's the best I can do. Because I don't have um a good a good holder for my phone, you know what I mean? I'm currently just trying to grab things out of the top. See, that goes a wee bit better for me. Okay, it's still all falling. Okay, <laughs> I think this is the best I'm gonna do for now. just so much. How do I get all this into my little tub? I will never know. Okay. <sighs> so we have Mini Controversy. This is the original one. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to keep it. I quite like his palettes. They're good quality. We have Lilac. You a lot from ColourPop. We are keeping. We just got her in the mail. We have. Oh! Well, I figure I had a casualty. Okay, so we have New Mood. Also from ColourPop Keeping. She's a newer edition. We have Going Coconuts from ColourPop. Also keeping. I haven't used her yet.
There we go. These are a little hard to shut, you know. Okay. We have I'm no my. We have a little ray of sunshine. We are also keeping. Excited for that. I have some shimmers I can combine with that palette. We have Hank and Henry Las Hermanas palette. I haven't used her yet, but I'm totally keeping this one. We have the Minute, minute what? I don't know. We have this one here. You can see. You probably know what it is from ColourPop. Keeping. I like this pink little palette. It's so pretty. Oh, look. Yeah. And it's got a mirror, too. That's tubular. We have Fenty Beauty, Moroccan Spice. Ah. Okay, bang. We have not used her. We do not tell, know how we feel. Keep. Oh, I used to have the first Fenty palette, but it was all shimmers, and I did not like that one. At the time, I did not like it. I'm still getting into it and getting used to makeup, so. We have Sugar Crystals from Violet Boss. Definitely keeping this one, ma'am. She's a beauty. I love it. Get a lot of use of that. All right. I have Lorac Pro 3. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to let this one go. I do not use this as much as I thought I would. So this is going to go. I have put it in that pile. I have two different piles going for when I get rid of something. One I want to send out to someone and the other is for friends at work. Okay. And I have the Lorac Pro 4. I'm also going to let this one go. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. So they will be going to new homes. We have the Queen by Eloise. Okay, bang. We have not the used her yet. She's so pretty. We have color pop fade into hue. As you can tell, I love colors and I can never have enough colors. Keeping her. We have Wahala 2 from Juvius. Also keeping. This is a beauty. If you don't have this, I highly recommend this one. I've gotten so much use out of that. We have Beauty Bay, Nikki, uh, Nikki Tutorials palette. Also keeping. Oh, ow. I took a minute to get. We have the Morph 35C Everyday Trick Palette. Keeping. I love this palette. Kind of reminds me of the Emily Once palette. We have Boss Mood 35M from Morph. Also keeping. She's a good palette. Um, I think you can still get this. It's a little bit hit and miss, but if you don't mind working with uh, working with formula, it's okay. We have the 35 35B Morph palette, keeping. Because why would I get rid of that? That's like, yeah, it's gorgeous. We have Morph Nikita palette, keeping. I love this light green. Oh God, yes. She's a good one too. Oh, this is gonna be so long of a video. I'm so sorry. We're doing. I'm gonna do my lips, and then I'll do the rest of my categories all together. So, just got this one in. Is the chocolate donut glam light palette keeping? Because I really like the original donut palette. We have the Violet Boss All of You Forever. We are keeping. I like it, and I just got it. We're almost done with what's in the top drawer. Yeah, I can't believe how much I fit in there. We have the Visar Neutral Matte Palette. Keeping, this was nice to work with. We have the two Pat McGraths, the IXDC Sublime and Subversive. I'm keeping both. I like both of these. This is probably my favorite. I have the both of them. I like this one too. Because some of them look, they look super bland, but then like you swatch it and you're like, wow, okay. See what you did there. I have all four of these Sugar Pill Castle palettes. I will be keeping all four. And the anniversary one. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm excited to use that one. All right. Let me get the other half of this situated. We'll come back.
Okay, so I think this will help me go through a little bit better for this. Alright, so I've just got the drawers out. It's gonna be easier for me. So, I do have all the JSC palettes. Just a conspiracy. I will not be getting rid of any of those, so we'll just go through those real quick. Kind of like an updated collection of them. Think about it. Use, but I normally use a palette a day, like a different palette a day. So, plus they're powder fine, so it will take forever to get them back. Which is good news for me. It's my little palette loving heart. So, there's those. Put those back real quick. I'll be keeping. I know there's going to be a lot of you who are like, oh my god, I can't believe you have this stuff. Okay, it's just stuff. This is just what I do with my free time. I do the makeups. You know what? That was actually quite a good idea because that's all nicely put back in there. Okay. Good organization skills. All right. We'll probably be losing some out of this drawer for sure. So we have Lorac Pro and then Lorac Pro 2. I am going to keep these. Actually, I'm going to let this one go as well. This is the, just the Lorac Pro. Good quality, but I don't gravitate towards this. I think I'm gonna keep the Lorac Pro too. I quite like this one as well. It's my favorite one out of all four, so I will keep that one. We have KBD. This is her 10th, the 10th year anniversary palette. I like this. I will keep this one. We have the Smashbox LA Cover Shot Eye Palette. I do like this, but I'm going to let this one go. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. We do have the Rustic Glam from oh, Dominique Cosmetics. I will be keeping this one. I do like this one. And we also have Celestial Storm from Dominique Cosmetics. We will be keeping as well. We have the Hunter Beauty Men Mercury Retro Gay Palette. I will be keeping this one. I quite like this. It's one of my faves. Cat hair gets everywhere, I swear. We have the Tiny Marvels from Mel Thompson and Cindy Grace. Keeping this one. I waited forever for this to come back. Love it. I had it on back order pre stock. Keeping. And we have the Urban Decay Born to Run. I will be keeping this one. I do like this one. We have Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb. Keeping. It's so pretty and I just like it. We have um, ABH Norvina. I'm going to let this one go. I don't gravitate toward I don't I don't gravitate gravitate towards it as much as I thought I would, so she will be going. I'm going to keep the Prism from ABH, one of my favorites. We have the Riviera Keeping. I do really love this one. Okay, we have Sultry. Um, that's an I don't know. We'll put that, that's in the maybe pile. We have Sock Glam. I will let this one go. Two seconds, gotta blow my nose. All right, so, yeah, my nose feels way better, guys. Thanks for bearing with me here. I think we're not even halfway through. Oh God, like a little hoarder over here. Okay, so I thought about it, I'm going to I'm going to keep it because I do really enjoy this one. And we have the Jackie Ina one. Keeping, I do fairly enjoy this one. We have Subculture. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Oh, out of all of them. I do really like this one. 
she's she's a, she's so good okay so now we have kylie naughty palette Let's see if i can hold this i'm going to keep this one I actually did a get ready with me with that and i have nice also from kylie i'm going to keep this one as well i have the kylie from kylie jenner palette um do i want to keep this one Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I do like it. Okay, so we have the more. That's two, I have two of the Jaclyn Hill bolts. It's a Dark Magic and Armin Gorgeous. I think it's Dark Magic. This is Armed and Gorgeous. I'm going to keep both these. So these are like my third one. This, these have a lot of controversy too with them. Crazy. I also have the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I like the mattes, but the shimmer are about half. But I do really like it, so I'm still going to keep this one. Ugh. One down. Four more to go. No, three more to go. All right. We do have some go getting. We do have some going out of this one. So I do have the Galaxy Check BH Cosmetics. I like this. The shepherds are so pretty. And my friend gave it to me, so that is not going anywhere. I have the Bradman Rock Times Wet and Wild palette. Um, I've used it once. I didn't fare well with it, so I'm going to let that one go. Then we have, sorry, getting them out of here. I have Radioactive from Melt. One of my favorite ones from them. I'm going to keep that. We have the Vita palette. Oh, definitely keeping this. I love this one. Then we have the Millennial Peaks. Going to keep that one as well. I quite love her. Okay, so I have the Luminex Times Isa palette. I'm going to let this go. I used it once. Film the video and I just don't like it. So she's gonna go have a new home. We have the Patrick Star, Patrick Star One Size The Visionary eyeshadow palette. I do like this. The colors are just what you see them in pan, and then go to your eyes are just different to what you see in pan. Other than that, good good stuff. Okay, so we have the Come As You Are. From Carity. This is so good. If you like that grungy, which I like a pop of collar right there, highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it. I love it. So we have the Powder Beauty Nude. Going to keep this beaut. As you can see, this is why I got rid of the, um, what is it called? The, uh, what the heck was that palette? Oh, the Lorac Pro 4. That's why I let it go. We have the Natasha Denona. This is the bronze palette. We are keeping. Oh, I love this little guy. Oh, I had to squish some things over here. We're gonna start right out of room. Okay, I have the uh, Revolution Makeup Revolution. This is the Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise palette. Oh. I'm going to let this one go. Not because it's bad. I just. I don't gravitate towards it. I have plenty of other colorful palettes that I would like to use more. We have Elf, the new classics. Keeping, this is so good nude palette wise. We have the Elf Retro Paradise. Oh, if you don't have this, hi, if you, and if you can get your hands on this, I recommend it. We are gonna keep her. We have Elf, Elf Opposites Attract, Attract going to keep. I quite enjoy these little elf palettes. So I don't think there's any of them I'm going to be letting go. We have the 18 Hit Wonders from Elf. We have Earth and Ocean. Ah, oh, I think it's like my favorite one out of all of them I have, really. Oh, just kidding. It's the J Kissa. We have Elf times J Kissa. Keeping. Okay, we have we have Kylie Sippin' Pretty. 
we have this palette. We're going to keep this one. Mm. Honestly, I'm just going to let her go. I don't use it. Just going to let her go. Then I have Siren by Spellbound Beauty. I'm also going to let this one go. I liked it, just not enough to keep going back and back for it. Okay. Now to the last of them in here. We have Juvia's, the Nubian Coral. You know what? I'm going to keep this one, but then I'm going to... Oh, God. I've injured her. I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to let go. Where'd he go? So I'm going to keep the coral, but I'm going to let go of the sultry palette. And here's why. Coral. Sultry. Almost similar. So keeping that one, we're going to let sultry go. Did you see them beautiful deciding skills? Okay, so we have the Nubian. It's the Juvia's Place palette. Keeping. This looks like a boring nude palette, and it's not boring. It just looks it. Looks are deceiving. Okay, so we have the TARDIS Pro Remix. Ah, keeping. I love this. The shimmers are in this are my favorite thing to go to. That's why I bought it. So we have the Nomad from the Juvia's. Okay, I'm going to actually I'm gonna keep this one and let go of. Cause the palette avalanche. What's it? Okay, they're not as similar as I thought. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this and keep the other one. They were not what I thought. So we have the Juvia's, the Warrior 3 palette. Keeping. We have the Dose by Juvia's. We are also keeping this one. Okay, so I have two LA girls that break free the uh, little butterfly palettes. I'm going to keep this purple one, but I'm going to let the orange one go. I like this one more than I do this one, so I'm going to let this one go to a new home. Why am I doing better when I thought I would? Okay, here's our next one. So I have some single shadows. I'm going to let these go. I don't reach for them like I thought, so those are going to a new home. I have the, the Glam Light Donut palette. K-Bang, I love this little guy. Okay, I have three out of the four Novena palettes. I have, this is Novena Volume 3, Keeping. Now the shimmers are a little wonky, but that's okay. We still love them anyway. This is Volume 2, definitely Keeping. Then we have Volume 4. Keeping. I think I eventually want to get volume one as well. Probably wait for it to go on sale. I do have this Top Beauty Starry Sky 48 Color All You Need palette. I really like this palette. Uh, first of all, these shades are heckin' pigmented for like 10 bucks. So I'm going to keep this one because I do use this quite often. I have the Mini James Trials for more palette. We are keeping this little guy. <clears throat> we have the You Can Be Splashy Candy Palette. I'm going to let this one go. But it was fun and nice while I had it. It's good quality. I just don't use it. I have Makeup Revolution Sally Palette. I'm going to let this one go. Didn't like it as much as I thought it would. But then I have the Makeup Revolution Jack Palette. I like this one and we'll be keeping this one. Then I have the, oh, forgot I had this one, the Tropical Twilight Makeup Revolution 
I'm going to keep this one. I really like this. Long time I look, I did with it came out last time. We have um, the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. We are keeping. I love this. This is so good. Yeah, a two shades are broke. That's how it arrived. But there's enough in the pan that I can still get what little use I want out of those. Okay, so then I have the NYX Modern Dreamer palette. We will be keeping. I do like this one. Okay. One we're going to let go is the Pacifica Animal Magic palette. This is good quality, but I don't reach for it as much. So I'm going to let this go and give it to a new hole. The last one in the drawer is the Venus XL2 palette. I am keeping this one. I quite like this one. I still want to get their, their new XL palette they have out. Okay. We have one drawer left. This will be the one where a lot will go, I believe, yes. I have the KVD, we have KVD Neopop. I really like this, so I'm going to keep this. We have the Violet Boss Essentials 2. I'm going to let this go. I was not impressed. So she's going. Bye-bye. We have our Tarte. Must be a mermaid palette. I like this. She's staying. She's one of my favorite. We have Ace Butte Vintage, Vintage Dawn. I will be keeping this one. We have Pure Times Brow Beauty Christie. Keeping. This is my favorite collab she's done. Okay. There are three here we're going. We have three LA Girl Keep It Playful series. I'm going to let all three of these go. Oh, Snipes. Oh, Snipes. We have, um, what are these ones? These are, oh, my ColourPop collection. So I'm going to keep all of these. This is pretty, I found a new, I have come across a new love of ColourPop palettes, okay? And these get used much more than what I thought I would use them. That was the Grandior Ornette Baroque and the Bordeaux Noir palette. Then we have La Child Groom. Obviously, this one is staying. And the last one is the Raw Beauty at Foresight collab keeping. Oh, we're getting dangerous over here. Okay, I have four of the Juvia's mini palettes. Keeping all four. We have the chocolates. We have, what's this one called? The nudes. We have the berries. And then we have the violets. Looks like I only used one shade. I'm going to have to come back to this one. Alright, two more I'm letting go is the Profusion Spectrum and Neon Palette. We're going to let these bad boys go. More palettes I'm keeping. The Dose of Colors, we have the Marvelous Mobs. We have Sassy Seed Emma's. We have Cutting Edge. I wonder if they're going to make more of these because these are nice. We have Smoky Sorore. And then Blushing Berries. More I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go of the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe palette. This is good quality. It's just I have my sheer number of palettes. So I'm just going to let her go to another home be loved. Keeping is the Went Well Mummy of the Year palette. I like this. She's a good one. Well, what all else is in here? We have the. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and let this one go. So we have Too Faced, 
papaya top eye palette. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Not bad for eight bucks. And Violet Voss, the Essentials. I like this one. I'm going to keep this one. We have the Caliente from Artist Couture. Keeping. We have Marc Jacobs Stiletto. Creeping. This is a beauty one. I was so ecstatic when I came across that in store. Our last palette from our Declutter series, thank goodness, is Spicy Betch from Tarte. We are keeping her. Wish I would have got the other one. All right, so that is the. Oh, I'm gonna move some of these out of my way. These are gonna be a heckin' mess to put all back up and rearrange. But this is my eyeshadow palette Declutter series. Um, hope you liked it and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.